We begin at 530 with I team eight. Several families at Meridian Apartments are still without mm. heat or electricity days after the building's main breaker broke. Yeah, I team eight's Jasmine Miner spoke with one man who says it may take weeks before anyone can live there again. When you walk into Meridian Apartments, it's pretty much dead silent, except for a few people going in and out trying to get the things that they need. One guy I spoke to tells me all of his food is spoiled at this point. He's just trying to save as much as he can, as frustrations here are mounting for families just wanting to come back home. <laughs> The non spoiled food. Right, right. He's packed as much as he could in his car. To avoid what other families say they experienced to people stealing their things. All the meat stuff is spoiled in there. It's ice cold. You can't, the water's cold. You can't uh, take a shower or anything. It just is kind of rough. Aside from Robert Breed and a few others getting their belongings, inside Meridian Apartments, all you can hear is this. But floor to floor, it remains silent. And no one's in the building? Uh, that's what I was told. I was told it was empty. Robert says they've been out since Friday as TWG, the company who owns the complex, works to get the building's equipment fixed. The company told News 8 last week the entire breaker needs repairing. And I was told it'd be seven days, and the other guy said maybe seven to 14 days. Robert says the company has provided vouchers and some deductions on rent. But in a statement to IT Made, a spokesperson couldn't give a timetable for when people could start living in their apartments again and says security was added on Saturday, January 8th, and we are keeping frequent contact with residents and helping them through issues as they are brought to our attention. As for Robert, he says he's lived here 12 years and says they're all just trying to support each other. Hang in there because it helps on the way, and I think everything's going to be all right. He also tells me he's been able to stay with family the past couple of days, but for others who don't have that option, they've been in hotels scattered across the city until things get resolved. I'm Jasmine Miner for Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.